I'm Anil Kumar and this is our second video on solving linear trigonometric equations. In the first video, we solved most of the questions using the graph. Here, we'll take help of the calculator, right? So in this case, we are using calculator to solve trigonometric equations. To begin with, we are taking very, very simple equations, but they will help you understand the concept. That's the whole idea, right? So let me write down a few simple equations first and then we'll explore. So since we are using calculator, let me take some values which are like decimal values like 2, 1, 2, 3. This is the value for sine theta. Let's use cosine theta as a negative value of negative 0. Point, uh, let's say 5, 6, 7, right? And then we'll take tan theta value and that to let's take negative value of 0. Point, let us say 4. Now tan theta ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity. You can take any values here. But for sine and cosine, you know, the value should be between 1 and minus 1. If I take a value more than absolute 1, in that case, we'll get an error. The answer will be that the solution does not exist, okay? Now, let us see how to solve such questions. The strategy here is, First, to find the related acute angle, which can solve for theta. To find the related acute angle, what we will do is, we'll consider the, the coordinate planes for each one of them, right? I'm going kind of slow. Some of you can pause the video, answer the question, and then check with my solution, okay? Now, in a coordinate plane, we'll always look into the cast rule. We know all are positive here. Sine is positive in coordinate two, tan in 3 and cosine in 4. So we call it cast rules. Cosine, all, sine and tan. Some of us refer this to all students take calculus, right? So there are different ways to remember this. But the idea is when we say that sine theta is positive, then we mean that in this interval 0 to 2 pi, we are expecting two solutions. Since sine theta is positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 2, cosine theta is negative means two solutions again, but the solutions will be in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 3. For tan to be negative, you should be in quadrant 2 and 4, since tan is positive in these two quadrants, right? So that becomes the base for us. Now, when we have to solve these equations, we actually first find the acute angle. So let me rewrite this equation as sine alpha equals to absolute positive value, 0 0.2123. Here I will write cos of alpha equals to 0 0.567. And here I'll write tan of alpha equals to 0 0.4. So remember, we will first find the acute angle and then we are going to find the actual principal angle. This theta is a principal angle within 0 to 2 pi. These are basic concepts which you need to understand. And over a period of 4 or 5 videos, I think we will take a few examples which will help you understand the concept. Now sine alpha equals to 2.23. That really means that alpha is equals to sine inverse of 2.23. So let me write down. Alpha equals to sine inverse of 0 0.2123, right? So let's do this first. So we do shift sine inverse and within bracket 0 0.2123 bracket close equals to 0 point. So we get alpha as equals to 0 0.2139, right? So whenever we are going to use calculator, what we will also do is we'll round your answer to two decimal places. Okay. So that is what we are going to do in general. So what we have got here is acute angle alpha. What does that mean? It really means that we have two solutions. These are the coordinates. One of them is in coordinate one, the other one in coordinate two, where the acute angle for us is indeed 0 0.213, right? So let me write this in two decimal places, 0 0.21. This is the acute angle, 0 0.21. This is the acute angle. So what is the angle theta to us? So angle theta, which is the principal angle, will be 0 0.21. We round it to two decimal places, 0 0.21. And the other angle theta 
is actually this much. We will say pi minus pi minus 0 0.21. Do you understand? So we will take away this value from pi. So we can say shift pi minus answer which is equals to 2.9 right so it is 2.9 for us so the other answer which is theta 2 will be 2.9 so this angle is 2.9 do you get the idea right pi is approximately 3.14 right so we'll get this so that is how you find two different answers theta 1 and theta 2 and these answers are principal angles between 0 to 2 pi let us do the next question which is finding alpha now so as you can see as we did last time let's repeat the process alpha is equals to cos inverse of 0 0.567 so we'll do cos inverse of 0 0.567 equals to so we get a value which is 0 0.9679 right now we are looking for two solutions and our solutions this time should be in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 4 since we are looking for a negative value right therefore the answer is theta which is pi minus acute angle the other one is pi plus acute angle correct so we get two solutions here the first solution for us is let me write here like this so we are trying to find theta now so theta is equals to pi plus 0 0.967 which is this one and the other one is pi minus 0 0.967 correct so let's calculate using the calculator so we do shift this minus the answer which is equals to the first one which we did minus I mean this one will be 2.17 rounding to two decimal places and this we can write pi plus 0.967 equals to 4.108 means 4.11 remember all these answers are in radians so whenever the answers are radians you may write radians you may not write radians because radian is a ratio right so these are the two possible solutions in the domain 0 to 2 pi for cos theta equals to minus 0 0.567 I hope that is clear right let's look into the last one in this case tan alpha is 0.4 so alpha will be equals to tan inverse of 0 0.4 so we'll do shift tan inverse 0.4 equals to we get one acute angle and that is 0 0.3805 since tan is negative in quadrant 2 and 4 we are trying to get answers here right so one of the solution is theta minus this acute angle so one solution is theta minus is 0 0.3805 so let's calculate this one so we have theta I mean pi minus I should have written pi right so theta equals to pi minus the answer which is equals to 2.761 so we'll round it to two decimal places the other one will be 2 pi minus the other one will be 2 pi minus the acute angle 0 0.38 so we'll do 2 times pi take away 0.38 that is the acute angle right so we get 5.90 as our solution correct so that is how we are going to solve using calculator our answers right now for you I'll give you some questions which you can try you can try for tan theta equals to 1.25 and we can have cos theta equals to 0 0.75 and sin theta equals to negative 0 0.34 okay so you write down solutions for these trigonometric equations applying the principles which you learned in this particular video let's move on and in the next video we will learn how to find solution of trigonometric equations rather the exact solutions of trigonometric equations using special triangles thank you